Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group in Oak Brook, Illinois, and this week we are talking about disc herniations. Um, you hear that word a lot, it's actually a very broad general word, right? So when we talk about disc herniations, there's multiple levels of herniations or stages, we'll say, of a herniated disc. So uh, it's obviously something we see a lot in this office. Patients either come in and they need an MRI, so we send them out for that MRI, or they already bring one into us. But I want to explain a little bit further about those stages, and then so that you have a better idea moving forward this week, watching these videos and these clips, what exactly we do to help those herniations get better and improve. So when we talk about disc herniations, like I said, multiple stages. So beginning stage, when you look at a disc, I always explain to patients, think about a jelly donut, right? This blue part in here, that's the jelly of the donut sitting in there. And then you have this pink wrap around, which is the fibrous layer of that disc holding the jelly in. First stage, disc degeneration or a disc bulge. Lots and lots and lots of patients have what's called a disc bulge. I'll usually tell patients if I see a bulge on that MRI report, I'm not overly concerned. Is it the beginning stages? Do we need to take care of it? Yes, absolutely. But to be honest, if we MRI everybody that came through our office, 98% of people would have disc bulges. Some patients feel it, some don't feel it at all, but something we gotta pay attention to. Because if we don't do anything about it and we have that disc degeneration or disc bulge, we move into the prolapse stage or the protrusion stage where now it's leaking out a little bit more. That doesn't get fixed, we go into extrusion. Well now the fibers of that disc have ruptured and the jelly starting to leak out and then sequestrans really bad, can be really painful. Now that jelly not only leaked, but it's actually breaking off and there's pieces of that disc floating through the spinal canal. So we have a perfect example for you here. This is one of our staff members. She was working out, she does likes doing weights, likes lifting heavy weights, um, was actually doing hip, <coughs> excuse me, hip thrust at the gym. And she noticed the next day she was having trouble standing up straight. Well, this is her low back, but she's looking this way. So you see all of these dark lines coming down this way. This is actually all the nerves coming out where the spinal cord ends. And then the white part is the fluid, the spinal fluid in there. All of these white lines coming through here are the discs. That's what we wanna see. White, bright disc, that means they're hydrated looking okay. We get down here into her L5S1, you can see that big bulge starting to come out here. And actually, if you notice, it's indenting on that white spinal fluid right in there. So there's a little sac that holds the fluid in there. So that disc is bulged out to the point that it's hitting that. So she actually on the report of coronary radiology is between that prolapse or that protrusion stage and um, the extrusion stage. So she is sitting right between these two stages. So lots of pain. She was very flared up working on things to get that better, to help that disc reabsorb a little bit for, but more importantly, get her out of pain so she can get back to doing what she wants to do. So pay attention to these videos upcoming this week. If you have any questions about herniations, call us at that number below. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the notification bell, like, follow, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the socials, like, follow. We'll catch you on the next video.